Today's subject is on pronation. Pronating when you serve. Do you need it? Well, it should happen automatically if you have a good serve. But we, before we get into it, I just wanted to mention, I put up a video on fitness, my last video that I put up, and a lot of subscribers were asking me, you know, Tom, how do you keep this going, and what should I eat, and so forth. I invite you to go to a new channel. I started a long time ago, but I never really did much with it until recently. I started really posting a lot of videos. So go to this uh, new YouTube channel. It's called Fruit and Sport with the letter N. Fruit, the letter N, Sport. Fruit and Sport. And um, check out those videos there. Please subscribe to that channel. I appreciate it very much. Okay, to get back to serve pronation. Okay. Do all players need it? Well, like I said, if you have a good serve, you're going to pronate naturally. You're not even going to think about it because this is something that happens as the consequence of a good swing and, and making your arm like a whip, okay, like a pitcher does in baseball. Basically, they're, you know, making their arm like a whip. Now, you watch a pitcher when they when they start their wind up and then they turn, okay? They get that hip out there. And remember, everything happens from the ground up. So it starts with your feet, okay? From the feet to the knees to the hips, torso, shoulder rotation, and then you're, by the time you get to this point here where you're ready to throw, your arm is ready to just go out like a whip that's what you want. Now, if you have not create, if you don't know how to throw a ball well, it's going to be tough. Okay, but you've got, so you've got to learn how to throw. All right, so that's number one. Learn how to throw a ball. Number two, you have to have continental grip if you want to pronate. If you were holding, you know, let's say an eastern grip you're not going to be able to pronate because the racket's going to come at the ball straight up like this. It's going to come, you know, whereas when you have continental grip, see the racket's coming at the ball on edge. So if you didn't pronate, see pronate is basically this. When your hand is like this, when you turn this way, okay, you're pronating. When you go in, you're supinating. So pronation is this movement. Now, like I said, if your arm is loose and relaxed, you have a good throwing motion, and that kinetic chain from the feet up is working properly, the arm becomes like a whip, and you're gonna naturally pronate. So the first thing is learn how to throw, hold a continental grip. Continental grip, you're putting those two X's on the index knuckle, the heel pad, on number two. Continental grip or the hammer grip, okay, that's what you want for serving. That way it'll enable the racket to approach the ball on edge, okay? So those are the key things. Now there's some drills you can do to practice pronation, but like I said, I think the biggest thing is learning how to throw and holding a continental grip. Because if you're holding continental and you don't pronate, okay, I'm gonna do that now. I'm not gonna pronate. I've got a continental grip. You notice the ball's going to the left. Everything's gonna go to the left because I'm not pronating. And then on the other hand, see, when I pronate, I can let the racket become, in this, uh, let, get the racket to this position so I can square up the racket face to meet the ball. And then if you want to put spin on the ball, you have to come at the ball at a different angle. Okay, so if you wanted to put spin on your serve, and yes, 
you do pronate on a kick serve, top spin serve, slice serve. Pronation happens on all serves. Okay, so yeah, if you wanted to hit a top spin serve or a kick serve, your racket would approach the ball more from this type of an angle and go up. But you'd see that as it goes up, after you, you know, hit the ball, your hand is still going to go that way. It's still going to pronate. So let me hit a few serves and I can show you that pro mo uh, pronation. Okay, let's take a look at pronation in slow motion. As I drop the hands, the weight is on the rear foot. Now the weight is transferring to the front foot. The racket goes over my head, back down behind my back. Okay, right there. You can see the racket is on edge. I've got a continental grip as I approach the ball. This is going to be key for you. You have to have a continental grip in order to pronate. Okay, you can see there the palm of my hand now is facing the fence on the right side. Pronation has happened. And that'll happen if your arm gets real loose, like a whip. It happens automatically. Okay, again, in slow motion. Weight goes to the rear foot as the hands drop. As the hands come up, the racket's going to go over my head right here, drop down behind my back. There the racket is on edge. You can clearly see that as it approaches the ball. Now watch as the hand turns out right there. Again, to the right fence pointing in that direction. Okay, once you have that continental grip, here's a little drill that you can do to help you learn how to pronate better. Just turn sideways like you're serving and put your hand right in front of you there so you're looking at the palm of your hand. You're just gonna go like this, palm to the ball, and then turn your hand out. That's all pronation is. Hit the ball, turn your hand out. So just take a ball, toss it, hit it, turn your hand out. Hit it, turn your hand out. Just practice that, it's gonna give you the feel. Then put the racket in your hand. Make sure you have a continental grip, that hammer grip, so that the racket is on edge, okay? So you are going to approach the ball with the racket on edge. And then you're going to turn that hand in and the force is going to naturally make your hand go to the outside. So give that a try and you'll get a feel for that pronation. But like I say, develop that throwing motion and if you've got a continental grip, you're going to pronate automatically. It's going to happen naturally. And that's what you want. You don't even want to have to think about pronating. It should happen naturally. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up. and. Uh, Please go over to that other channel, subscribe there, check out some of those videos because if you want to stay functional, if you want to stay healthy as you grow older, I've been researching this stuff for over 30 years, okay, like 30, over 35 years. And um, I think I'm at the point now where I know enough about diet and health to help others. So go over there and check it out as well. All the best guys to your health. Take care.